Hey guys, uh, this is Josh 8 Loop, and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, give you guys um, some photos and a little quick video here of uh, you know what I've done to my car with in regards to that hybrid 205 degree Fahrenheit uh, thermostat. Um, you know, a couple things. Uh, obviously, uh, as I documented in the other video, I went ahead and created a thermostat hybrid unit from two. Um, separate uh, additional uh, thermostats combined pieces and made one 205 degree hybrid unit. Um, obviously with any, uh, with any uh, modifications to a car you want to do your best to try to monitor temperatures and to that end I actually ended up installing um, this right here which is a um, coolant temperature sensor, a uh, digital coolant temperature sensor in addition to the one um, that is on on the vehicle um, and accessed through VAGCOM. Uh, this one basically what I did is went to Harbor Freight, uh, picked up a cheap uh, like a six dollar uh, digital uh, meat thermometer, uh, has an accuracy of like 1.8 degrees between like negative 40 and 400 degrees. So I figured that would uh, probably be accurate enough for what I was doing here and it would give me some great feedback. The question I had when I bought the thermostat or the uh, thermometer is uh, what, would I be able to remove the um, six inch, um, eighth inch diameter stainless steel sensing element, extend the wires so that I could put my LCD display from the thermometer inside the car. Well obviously what you see here um, inside this section here in the center of this little, little uh, pipe there uh, there's a stainless steel um, 1 8 inch sensing um, element that goes from here basically on into here. Um, and uh, I put some clamps on there and some weather head hose um, and I extended the wires of that thermometer and they actually travel just uh, temporarily into, um, into the vehicle and they can actually be seen right here and right now the thermometer's on I'm not sure if you guys can read that it looks like you can uh, so that actually will give the coolant temperature that is recirculating from the engine into um, the coolant overflow uh, reservoir so let me go ahead and start up the uh, car right now it's been sitting here for just a few minutes um, and obviously the lines on top of the engine just cool down over time let's start this up and, and let me show you guys kinda uh, what it jumps up to. And as that coolant flows you can tell um, that the temperature starts to climb as it, uh, it begins to kind of equalize and reach an equilibrium um, thermally. So um, just a little while ago while I was driving home from work uh, I saw the temperatures um, get up to uh, 209 degrees Fahrenheit maximum and um, so I've been pretty pleased but it likes to stay around 204, 205 during, during uh, normal light driving. Um, as you can see it's already up at uh, uh, almost 197 degrees Fahrenheit while it is sitting here idling and uh, man this is working great. That little therm uh, thermometer I found at Harbor Freight, six bucks and this is obviously the head of that thermometer. Uh, you can uh, pull that thermometer apart gently, unsolder two wires uh, which are labeled sense on the circuit board inside. You can extend them. I just used a um, cord I had laying around the house. It, this happened to be a telephone cord that I, I no longer needed. Uh, so I just went ahead and used that, extended that, and uh, checked the accuracy after and it really didn't change it at all. So I was pretty pleased that I can have a digital readout inside my car and give me some great feedback on what exactly is going on with the uh, coolant temperature of my engine, especially as I'm experimenting with, uh, you know, with this new hybrid thermostat. So, all right, looks like it's around 203.5 and going up a little bit. I, I, what I generally see is it usually will hover around 205, 206. Um, so we'll kind of see what happens. I, I think I've noticed the cooling fans kick on a couple times just watching the temperature uh, go down at times and um, 
you know, so that'll be something I'll sort out in the future. But it didn't seem to kick on all that often, so I was kind of pleased about that. But overall, this uh, this thermostat, um, this hybrid thermostat unit seems to be uh, seems to be working really well. So um, you know, I'll keep you guys uh, keep you guys surprised on uh, you know what uh, what progress is made on this and uh, you know for me um, normally my previous thermostat which wasn't operating all that well um, you know was keeping my car around uh, 184 186 um, you know during normal driving and I saw it get up as high as about 204 when I was really on it um, but this thermostat seems to like around 204 205 degrees I've seen it get as high as 209 um, and so, man, I think my fuel economy is going to go up, um, you know, as compared to my previous thermostat. So I'm looking forward to some results. I've got a trip here tonight, um, and then a trip tomorrow. So I should have some mileage numbers, uh, within the next, uh, week or so. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, as you can see, it's around 205. So it's, it's holding pretty steady. Um, you know, that thermostat seems to be uh, regulating just as it should. All right, well, hey, I'll keep you guys updated, and we'll catch you later. Bye.